welcome back or to my channel. Today I will be doing my roulette project, pan roulette collab. And it's this collaboration that was started by Lexi and Rebecca here on YouTube. They're both like really prominent project panners. So the way project panning works is you pick like a couple of items that you want to use up. This can be makeup, skincare, or hair care. And I do mostly makeup and some skin uh, skincare because I'm a bit better about skincare. Although, I must say, I am getting much better at makeup, and yeah, my shirt says Boba Yay um, on it, but I'm not wearing pants, so I'm not going to stand up to show you the rest of it and flash everyone with my granny panties. Anyway, so yeah, the purpose of project panning is it's, for, it's different for everyone, but for some people it's to get an idea of how much makeup they have, for others it's like more of a, my collection is this big, what do I want to use? Um, and then you find figure out which products you like and which ones you don't, and you can kind of like shrink your collection. And then you also get an idea of how long makeup lasts. So, yeah. I do it because um, it's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So I had six products in my, that I picked last time. And so for the first one, I picked a product with cute packaging, which is this. Excuse me. This is the... I almost said Too Faced. This is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Come On Sis. Last time, it was pretty much new. I mean, it still looks barely used, and I'll tell you why. So... So I just didn't want to use any products during that time because I didn't want to like irritate my skin even more so I was just using lip balm so this didn't get much love and uh, neither did this product which is my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Flying Horses. I'm like about past halfway through this tube and the writing is still on it which is amazing. So this is the item I pulled for my product that you love. So this is how much I have. You can see, right? It's like halfway. If it will sink, it's about like a little less than half. Last time I was a third of the way down and now I'm over half of the way down. So I clearly like this product and I'm a little bit sad. Oh, well, I just bit my tongue. Um, about this going so quick because I really like it. It's like the perfect my shade, uh, my shade but better, my lips but better shade. And uh, I believe I bought this during the ColourPop 30% off sale. They might have one that's ongoing right now. I think they stopped it actually. But yeah, next time they have like a good sale like that and I'm low on lip gloss, I'll probably pick up more. Yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with ColourPop, but I think I'll only purchase when they have sales from now on. And yep, but right now I have like a bunch of lip glosses to go through so when I picked this one up I picked up seven along with this uh, you know to make free shipping <laughs> and so yeah they're just sitting in a box in my room because I don't like to open multiples at a time I like every single shade that I purchase and you know if I ever forget a friend's birthday or I am too busy for a friend's birthday then I just grab a couple and put it in a bag and some sheet masks and like other unopened makeup and it's a good present but yep I'm not really in the market I'm not going to repurchase this until I finish everything else even though I love it so much I might change my mind later about that okay for the product I actually finished it was the ColourPop boss brow pencil it was that thing where I was holding it up and the spoolie like snapped off of it well, I finished it, and actually, what happened was on the last day I was using it, I could only get like half an eyebrow out of it, and I was so happy. Um, but when I tipped it, like half an inch of product fell out that was just stuck in the barrel, and I couldn't use it because it fell out and then onto the floor. So, yeah, it, that that's 
so dumb. Like, why is there so much product in the barrel? And I had twisted it all the way up already, and I just decided to commit honorable Sudoku, and yeah, that, that was the end of that product. But I'm not mad at all. I hated it. It's like using a rock to color in my brows. So I have drawn another category to replace this, but I'll talk about it at the end. For a sparkly product, which is number 21, I picked my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Churro. I just realized everything I've talked about so far is ColourPop. This is what mine looks like. There's, um, as you can tell, there's a bit of a dip forming, but you can still see the pattern. Like, I can still see, like, the threads going through it from, like, when the machine stamped it. But, I mean, I'm not mad. This is a good product. I just need to remember to use this more often because um, I wear powder foundation, so if I want to wear this and make it look more natural and, and just, I don't know, sit better on my skin, I need to put on before I put on my powder foundation. Um, because it's just what I do with like, all my cheek products, my cream blush and my cream bronzer. I just put it on before foundation, and it looks more like, natural contour. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the powder foundation makes it not look like makeup. It looks like it's your skin underneath like something else. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I really like this. I'm still a little bit too light, so wearing it under powder foundation would help a lot. How many times did I say that? Um, <laughs> next is a limited edition item, which is number 41. And I picked this. This is my Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer, and guess what? It doesn't really show up on my skin anymore. So this is what mine looks like. It smells like churros to me, but it's supposed to smell like coconuts. So now the trick with this product is you need to use a really dense brush, otherwise you're not going to pick up anything. And but I like it more for the highlighter. It's so natural and it's not like glittery at all or sparkly. Like you just dumped glitter all over your face. Oh, wow, that was a great analogy. It's not like when you come up, you can see like chunks of glitter and it's really obvious. It looks more like dewy is what I meant to say. And I have like worn away the embossing in some parts. The feathers are a little bit harder to tell like down here versus here in the top of the peacock. But because it's not even showing up on my skin anymore, I don't feel a need to keep using this. Um, but I will still use it for the highlight, so I'm going to keep it in my product project. But just, uh, I'm not working on the bronzer anymore. At least, yeah. Not for the rest of this project, because it ends in August, I believe. And by then, I'll be even more tan than I am now. And for number 10, I pulled a unique product, which I picked my No Problem Priming Eraser by Touch and Soul. Uh, this is basically like a colorless concealer that doesn't work. So on one end, we have the actual product itself, and on the other end, there's like a sponge tip, which I'll show you. Yes, the sponge isn't very firm or soft, it's like right in the middle. Excuse me. And then, so last time I opened this, I like used it twice or something, but now the product is, and it was like above where this is, even like turned all the way down. And now it's in the barrel. It actually snapped and came out the other day, so I need to be really careful. But uh, yeah. I, I don't. I don't want to like, I don't want it to fall out again, because I already did, but I want to say there's about like half an inch of difference. This product is so weak, <laughs> I can't believe it like snapped in half, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this because I'm going on vacation and I'm trying not to take that much makeup with me because I'm going to like the makeup capital of Asia. Okay, that's really debatable, but I'm going to Korea, and th they have stuff there too, and I want to bring stuff back, so I'm <laughs> only bringing this, because the primer that I have is made out of glass, and I'm not so sure I want that in my luggage, when I know how rough TSA here is, 
So yeah, I'm gonna be using this as a primer basically. So that will be gone in like days. So I drew another number um, off camera so I could just do things smoothly and it's a good thing I did because it's in a palette. So I picked number 40, which is an eyeshadow from a palette you don't reach for often. Funny story. So I only have two palettes left with me because I depotted a bunch of my palettes and like gave away the shadows and then I kept some shadows which are in here and then I have my um, new Pan That palette off to the side which I'm not going to share because I think I'll just upload that video later Wednesday or something. So this is everything in here is Colourpop. So yeah, this is the magnet magnetic palette that I purchased from them a while ago and I bought two I don't know why I don't even use the other one but yeah these are all the shades in here and I have 20 uh, which sets me at hmm, right here. I think 18 so I have 38 eyeshadows which is like a huge drop from last year and yeah, an eyeshadow from this palette. Uh, if you can see my arms, I was playing with them earlier and I actually had to depot another palette into here that I was using it for travel, but then I remember I didn't like some of the shades, so I just popped them out and moved it around. Anyway, I need to pick a, a color from here, so I'm gonna look between. Ah, oh, it's cold! So, that was really fast. I think the shadow I'm going to use from here is, I would love to use this one, which is Tea Garden, I believe. I don't think the name is, oh, it is written on the back. I would love to use Team, Tea Garden, not Team, um, but I think I'm gonna use this all khaki colored shade instead, Team Captain, um, because it's just more versatile and I don't have a color like this in my palette, so or my other palette. So yeah, it, it would be like good to wear every day and I'm pretty sure I can like mix other colors with this one. So yeah, this is my depotting tool. It's for resetting phones as well. But yep, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm Looking forward to trying to pan another eyeshadow along with a brand new palette as well. So yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!